Hey guys, this is Mick and today we're going to be doing book review number five and the book that I'd like to talk to you about today is Lost and Founder by Rand Fishkin. Rand Fishkin was a founder of Moz, a company that provided SEO and SEM products for enterprises and small businesses to help them rank higher in search engines. If you are in startups or if you want to start a startup or if you have started a company, this is an absolute must read book because Rent has done a great job to be transparent about the process of finding company. He explains how he started the co company on the service side, then built the product, then raised money, then uh, left his uh, CEO position and then left the company. Also, he uh, has no tolerance for bullshit. There are a lot of books that you read about startups. They include the myths that you hear a lot, but he actually talks very specific strategies and he busts some of those myths that you might hear around. A couple of things that I like about this book is, number one is he talks about importance to fall in love with your vision. You need to fall in love with the vision of, where, of why you're building your product because we all of us heard this uh, quote by Steve Jobs saying that you have to love what you do but you can't really love everything you that you do uh, when you start a company so that's why you need to follow up with your vision and then it will help you to overcome all the obstacles you found number two is he talks a lot about importance of having values for yourself uh, values of how you operate and values for organization values in organization that if everybody buys into them allow you to um, manage and to coordinate all of your employees because you can't really tell them what to do on a daily basis but if you align along the values you will be a they will be able to make decisions without your guidance and those decisions will align with the vision of the company also uh, having the clear uh, values for your organization allow you to hire right people and that uh, makes your company stronger uh, number three uh, what I like about Rand Fishkin that he also very personal in his stories. He describes how uh, he struggled with depression and how he overcame during this, this process of building company. Number four, uh, Rand uh, also talks about importance of building MVP that is good enough and well designed so that influencers and the first people who try the, your product will love. There's a lot of myths about building products quickly, we're releasing with a lot of bugs, maybe not ideal design, but people forget uh, that customer expectations has changed quite a bit and you can't really expect to build a product overnight or on a weekend or even in a week, release it out there and expect to um, for everyone to like it or even provide you feedback. There are certain expectations that you have to meet and he talks about the importance of that. So, uh, this is book is extremely well written, it's easy to read and I give it a very high ranking of 9.5 out of 10. I believe is only one of two books that I've ever read about startups that has no bullshit and absolutely transparent. This is a, a second book and the first book that I, it's kind of reminds me of is a book called House Monkeys. Uh, which was written by Anthony uh, Martinez and this is a sort of a second book that I would say that every founder and every uh, startup lover should read. It has absolutely great um, uh, suggestions, good tips and most importantly it's honest and transparent. Thank you.